guys and welcome back to a brand new video for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys some of my meat replacement because i am pescatarian i'm not vegetarian so i know some of you guys are probably like why don't you just eat fish why isn't fish just your replacement for me but it's not i really have that just like to keep my options open pretty much for like when we go out to eat because when we go out to eat not a lot of places have vegetarian options so i like to keep my cards on deck is that what it is that what the saying is? Where, like, I can still have other foods. Um, so a lot of places have, like, um, fish strips or um, fish burgers, stuff like that. So I like to keep my options open. So that's why I'm pescatarian and not vegetarian. So hope that answers some questions for you guys. But, yeah, let's get into this video and I'll show you guys some of my favorite meat replacements. Okay, guys, we are in our kitchen and I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite meat replacements so actually i have this pot right here and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my first meal meat replacement not meal replacement meat replacement and that is boiled eggs and i have this pot of boiled eggs um so this is one of my favorite things to have so this is number one so yeah guys my first meat replacement food is eggs boiled eggs specifically because you can really use them on anything. Um, we can make like soup and put the eggs like smashed up but boiled into the broth and it tastes so good. Has like some good like miso flavor. It's so good. And then we also use them for salads. Um, we can make sandwiches with them. That's my favorite thing for sandwiches because I love sandwiches and I miss them so dearly. And so my favorite thing to do is get a boiled egg with some mayo and mustard in it, smash it all up, and then put it on bread with like lettuce and tomato, whatever. So, so good. So that is my favorite. Um, so that's number one. Now moving on to the next step. And the next step is all in our freezer because that is what we use the most, our freezer. So this is number two, and this is eggplants. So if you guys aren't really familiar with eggplant, I believe it's like the squash family. And it's super, super good. If you guys have never been to Olive Garden and have like eggplant parmesan, you guys are missing out. So I cut them into rounds for like, yeah, like eggplant parmesan. Or you can make like little pizzas with them. Put sauce and cheese on top. Super, super good. And then these are like, I don't know, I like them as like a meat replacement and a bread replacement. For like when I'm making like, yeah, like eggplant parmesan. Um, so like obviously instead of chicken parmesan. Okay, guys, I have someone here yeah, that wants to tell yeah. you guys hi. Say hi. 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 What are you doing right now? Um, just playing with my mommy. Oh, yeah, I love you. I love you. Okay. Okay, guys, but, yeah, I also slice them into, like, these little thin slices, like, strips almost. So I, like, cut the eggplant in half and then cut them into strips. I don't know if you guys can see it. I put them at like a medium thickness, probably like half an inch, maybe a little thinner than half an inch. And then these on the grill are super good. You can do it on like this grill, like as a skillet or whatever, or you can do them like on the actual grill grill, but you put like a little bit of barbecue sauce, or soy sauce, something to like marinate them in and then grill them. So good, so, so good. So those are definitely my second like meat replacement food. Then, we have quite a few bags of these, and that is beans. I don't know if you guys can see that in there, but they're black beans. And I know that's kind of like not something you guys would think is like a meat replacement, but they're high in protein, high in iron. They're very good for you. It's said that you're supposed to have beans at least once in the day. Like, I don't know why I've read that before. And I guess it's true because I really love beans and like they're so good. So, I live by that, and every week or so, like week and a half, um, I will boil a big old, big old pot. I'll show you guys. There are these bags of beans right here, and normally we get um, pinto beans and black beans. Northern beans are also really good. I know kidney beans are good, so we kind of switch it up, but we kind of like black beans the most. Those right there are pinto beans, but we get a little bag of beans. And about like every week, every week and a half, I will put a big old pot and I'll have them boiling for like three to four hours in the day. And I'll just have a big old giant pot of beans 
and then I'll put them in frozen, frozen sealed bags, whatever they're called, and I'll put them in those bags and then I'll freeze them, and I'll do like the normal portions for like me, Olivia, and Daniel, and then I'll freeze them, and we have beans for every single one of our meals for the next week, week and a half. So that is definitely one of my favorite things to do, favorite things to replace meat for, like if we're going to do like the protein bowls, like kind of like chipotle protein bowl, I will use a lot of beans instead of having beans and meat and stuff. And then tastes super good, super good if you guys are like slowly transitioning into being vegan or vegetarian or pescatarian and you guys really don't want to like start trying like the actual like meat replacement stuff because I mean you're already used to beans beans is a normal thing to eat so super good all these things I feel like I've told you aren't like super out of there this is another one of my favorite meat replacement things and that is these black bean veggie chipotle burgers they're super super good I'm actually gonna take the bag out because there's only a few left or the box out because there's only a few left but those are super good um, those I recommend you do them on the grill or in the oven, um, because otherwise they're kind of get soggy, they have like that black bean texture, so they kind of get soggy, not my favorite. Um, another thing is baby carrots, I saute them, it's kind of hard to describe, I get the baby carrots and I put them on a pan with some oil and some, like, soy sauce or some type of good, good marinade for them. And I would like roll them on there and that's like a really good meat replacement too. Like kind of reminds me of like the baby little sausages when I was pregnant. Um, my husband used to make me those little baby sausages um, in barbecue sauce. And like the same thing like he would boil them in like a little pot with barbecue sauce. And then the things it was so good. So so good. So like I do that but with the carrots. I've also heard that if you put liquid smoke on carrots it tastes exactly like hot dogs and I haven't tried that but I've been meaning to so if you guys want to try that there's that so that and then I also use a lot of these to kind of replace my meat in um, certain meals so these are just mixed up veggies um, greens obviously they have so so much protein for you so greens I'm not even gonna put bags of vegetables I'm just gonna put Greens, that's the next item, is greens because spinach, kale, um, collard greens, all that stuff is so, so, so good for you and it has a lot of protein, like it's very high in protein, so that is a very good meat replacement, so that's Stella. And then last, but very much not least, is this, and you guys can see how this looks, not sure if you guys can see too well, but this I want to talk to you guys about, I want to take a little moment to talk to you guys about because I've been thinking about possibly doing a video about it because this is my meat crumbles, homemade meat crumbles and pretty much what I use to make these is um, just cauliflower, like cauliflower on its own and I shred it up in the shredder and put all these seasonings and stuff on it and I've been wanting to show you guys and talk to you guys about it because this is one of the best meat replacements ever like for tacos, for enchiladas, for anything, like, it's so good, so, this is it, guys, um, if you guys want me to do a separate video on that, comment down below, and I will definitely, um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this, this was just a quick little rundown of my kitchen, and what I use to replace me in my day-to-day -day basis, so, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys did, be sure to give it a like, and a comment, and a thumbs up, and all that fun stuff, Bye-bye.